Hi ho, hi ho, it's off to work we go. Welcome, welcome to another video from the farm. Today, we're starting some crypto mining. So already, day one, I think we're on to a bit of a win here. As with our solar system, even on a cloudy day like today, we have ridiculous amounts of power to go in spare. So it just makes sense to try and get as much on the power system to maximise the usage of it. And something like this miner could actually make us money from our spare power at the same time. So most of you would have been hard pressed not to see all the hype over the last sort of year or so to do with cryptocurrency. So we thought best get some skin in the game. See, it all kind of does sound too easy to uh, be true, doesn't it really? Get a machine, start printing some money. Now we've already sort of had a bit of a mess about buying and selling small amounts of cryptocurrency on uh, Coinbase I've been using, Stu's been using a, a different one. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit of fun, but we've seen the sort of potential behind it now. That's why we contacted my miner. And he happens to live just down the road. So was able to bring one of these over for us to actually test out the other week. As you can hear, super quiet and only uses 450 watts. So we've dropped the hammer and bought one of these small rigs to test out. Now we've got this mining on Hive OS that uh, my miner set up for us. It's nice and simple to operate. And as you can see, all our different six cores all running at just over 31 mega hashes. And we've had it running pretty much just over 24 hours now. And we've had basically 190 consistent the entire time, which translates to 0.0062 of an Ethereum, which at the current price equates to just over $22. Not bad for day one. And we're looking at about $170 a week earnings off it. Then that should hopefully appear here in the paid balance and be shot straight over to our Ethereum wallet in my Coinbase account. I guess in most people's sort of traditional scenarios with doing cryptocurrency mining, you've got electricity to worry about. We don't have to, so it's all profit. So we're in the power shed. We're sort of towards the end of the afternoon, and as you can see, everything's fully charged. We've got sort of 1500 watts being used there across the farm. We've got a pump on at the minute. We've got a couple of fridges on, various other little bits and pieces, few little lights inside sheds and whatnot. And of course the miner, which is over a third of this power we're using at the minute. And uh, yeah, holding steady at 100% and probably will do for the next sort of four or five hours as we've got quite long days here already. Now you've probably seen all over the news and whatnot as well, GPUs are pretty rare at the moment. So as well as the long-term investment of actually mining some cryptocurrency, we've also got sort of the raw value of the computer system here. All these components are going to relatively maintain their value. And if things sort of trend the way they are, they might even increase in value. You never know. So if you're not already a subscriber, don't forget to become one because, yeah, a week or so's time, two weeks' time, We'll have an update on uh, yeah, the profitability of one of these things. And whether running one of these off-grid might be something worthwhile you might want to look at yourself. If you've got plenty of spare power like we do. Alright then, till next time. Bye bye.